In week five, you begin the final project for this course, the case study. To get started on this project, please review the introduction to the case study project. As you see, you will first confirm which of the three social issues you will write about, language and power, freedom and security, or health and wealth. It's probably best that you stay with the issue that you selected for the summary response assignment. However, feel free to change topics if you need to. Your next step is to write a thesis about the social issue you've chosen. A thesis basically completes this statement. I believe that, and then your stance or opinion on the topic. Let's say, for example, I'm writing about language and power. After going over our readings and discussions, I might come up with a statement like this. I believe that the tragedy of the 9-11 attacks led to substantial positive changes in the Middle East. You see, the phrase, I believe that, is in parentheses because the phrase is understood and not actually a part of the thesis. Now that you have a workable thesis that makes a substantial claim about the topic, your next task is to come up with three reasons that support that thesis. The first positive change is that the societies of Iran and Afghanistan became more open. The second positive change is that the U.S. ended the rule of brutal dictators. And the third positive change is the elimination of master terrorist Osama bin Laden. So after I have my reasons, my next task is to return to the assigned readings and find quotations that directly support these reasons. For example, for my reason, the societies of Iran and Afghanistan became more open, I could use this quote from the article by Kotulis and Jewell. One gain that will endure are the new generations of Afghans and Iraqis who grew up in more open societies. Once I've found at least three of these quotes that support my reasons, I'm ready to complete this week's assignment. The quote log. As you can see in this example, there is a format for you to follow when writing your quote log. Be sure to follow this format and also be sure to use one of the many citation machines to help you generate correct APA citations. Just Google APA citation machines and you'll see many options. One of my favorites is 7th edition Citation Wizards, which is free. Here you see the home page. First, choose from the five categories. The citation I need is for a blog post, so I select that. Next, fill in the information for the source. Simply leave blank any area for which you don't have information. And finally, click Print Citation, and you'll see on the next page a correct APA reference citation for you to copy. Remember, all APA in-text citations are the same. The author's last name plus a page number. If there is no author, substitute the title of the source you're citing. If there is no page number, use a paragraph number instead. Simple as that. Okay, that wraps up the Week 5 review. I look forward to your work, and please let me know if you have any questions. See you in class!